hi welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel or whatever it's late <laughs> and I'm recording another video I just recorded a video doing this makeup look this is the sister Salem palette it's right back here from Wicked Sisters Cosmetics and it was for my Women Who Collab group and I have now been wearing this look for seven hours now and I will say wear test wise very impressed very very impressed I smudged a little bit but that was uh me not the makeup the shadow has not moved the ABH gel liner has gotten a little smudgy but as far as the shadow goes the shadow looks great no complaints about that at all. Again, highly recommend the Sister Salem or any Wicked Sister shadow. I love their shadows. I just got a new palette from them also. Just came in the mail yesterday, so I will be unboxing that this weekend, doing swatches with that palette. I'm not telling you what it is. It's a surprise. This video is candles. It's another candle video. Again, welcome to my channel. This is Nightmare Bliss. I am Mare. I am a retired makeup artist, hairstylist, esthetician, and nail tech. And now, instead of working on clients all day, I live in the middle of nowhere and I talk about all this stuff for you out there on YouTube because it's so much more fun than standing up all day getting sore feet. I can't believe looking back all the years that I worked as a hairstylist, makeup artist, esthetician, nail tech at least you're sitting down, but I mostly did lots of eyebrows, lots of waxes, lots of facials, all that stuff, lots of makeup, lots of hair, and I was always wearing high heels. And you know what I'm wearing right now? I'm wearing my See you in hell. slippers by Killstar, and it is much more comfortable than walking around in big platform shoes. I was always wearing those chunky, like Steve Madden 1990 shoes. Remember those? That was like the big thing was like all the Steve Madden and Chinese laundry. Remember them? They're still all, they're still around. In fact, some of them have had like big comebacks. Anyway, I am an elder goth. I am a colorful goth. I am a neutral goth today. This is corporate goth, a neutral look. I will put a little card up here somewhere if you want to see this makeup look and how I created it. I do have a couple of candles burning right now since this is a candle video. It's a surprise candle video. I got these candles really fast, really fast, and they were a surprise. I didn't even know I was going to order these, but it happened. Let's talk about what's behind me. This one right here, I've mentioned in the past, I think this is called something cauldron something something ca smoldering cauldron from L-Y-G-H-T Candle Company, Light Candle Company. I love this smell. So this was a Halloween candle that I got on sale at Home Goods, and it was missing the top, so it was only $4 for this giant candle, and I love the container it's in. And it smells amazing. So yeah, $4. Malicious Women Chaos Witch right here. I've talked about this one. I burnt this one in a previous video. It was actually with a makeup look and I was posing with a candle. And they shared it on their Instagram, which was kind of cool. I love Malicious Women Candle Company. It's one of my favorites. They are out of Snohomish. Do you have to say Snohomish or Snohomish? S-N-O-H-O-M-I-S-H. Snohomish, Washington. I tend to find new brands and I go straight to their About Us. If they kind of vibe with me or it resonates with me, I tend to want to support them more. There were a lot of things about this that made me want to support them. Anyway, I will put a link below, but it's maliciouswomenco.com. Every time you get a candle order, you get one of these nifty little cards. What is really neat that's on the back of this that I love is they give you all of these tips and tricks, which is very helpful if you are a newbie to candles. I'm just holding this up for a second. I'm going to hold this up just so you can kind of read it or glance through it as I'm talking. I happened to get an email and I also saw it on Instagram. They had a special. It was $10 a candle and it was called a mystery candle deal. And I forgot how many you could go up to. I was thinking like, I wish I could buy like 10, but I didn't. I controlled myself. So I saw that they had this sale. I decided I would go with four. They're scents that are retiring. They're not going to make anymore or they've stopped making. You have no idea what you're going to get. I never do this. I never buy mystery candle bundles, but here we are. <laughs> okay. Ah, they're heavy. Let's see what I got. And I, I can't tell you, I got these this afternoon. I can't tell you how excited I was to open them. And I did not open them. I did not peek. So I do not know what I got. Every time you get these, you get this really cool box. So if you want to gift these, they're already in a very, very cool box. And what else is neat is then you open it and it has, oops, 
wait, it has that first. It says, OMG, grab your phone. You'll want to share this. Hashtag stay malicious. 100% unapologetically sassy. It has all the pictures, the little socials. Then you open it, and now I'm going to have a million of these. You get a sticker. I think I must have about 20 of these stickers now. Let's take it out and see what my first candle is. What is it? It is... You can have other friends infused with the expectation of being the favorite. Oh, okay. So this scent is sugared cranberry. And I love that the tops all say, my love is like this candle. If you leave me unattended, I will burn your house down. <laughs> oh, oh my God. This smells so good. Oh my God. Okay. You think sugared cranberry, and you're like, it's going to be a strong berry smell. This this has a, a cranberry smell, but it's so much more complex. It almost smells like it has some cinnamon in it. Like, it's like a spiced cranberry, but it says sugared cranberry. I bet this will smell so good burning. Yes, you can have other friends. So, this is a friend... A, I could give this to a bestie. I... I want to burn it so bad, though. I don't know what to do. What I might have to do with this one is keep it <laughs> and put it in my guest room. And when I have friends come over, I can light it for them. That way I can enjoy the smell and they can enjoy the smell. I have friends who will be coming to visit this year. Or I may gift this one. We'll see. But I don't own any sugared cranberry scents by them. So I kind of am dying to burn that and see what it smells like. So that's number one mystery candle. Again, cool box. Again, sticker. Ooh, I don't have this one either. Cabernet All Day. Cabernet All Day is the name of the scent. Oh my God. Wine is my Valentine, infused with true love. Oh my God. Wine is my Valentine, infused with true love. Cabernet All Day. Well, Is it possible to want to drink a candle because I want to drink this candle? Oh, that is a beautiful smell. That is a very satisfying smelling candle right there. This one I think is going to have to go in my storage shed. <laughs> my storage shed. I'm getting to where I need a storage shed of candles. I'm not kidding. It's, a, it's an issue. I want to do a candle video where I'm in a room and surrounded with all the candles I have. But I want to do it, but at the same time, I'm scared that people will, will like, throw an intervention for me. So maybe not. That's why this playlist is called Candle Addicts Unite. I have burnt through about six to eight candles over this last season. And I will be reviewing the candles that I have finished up. I'm finishing up a bunch of my winter candles now. As soon as I finish up the winter candles, before I bring out my spring candles, I will review everything that I've burnt down, everything that I've been through, and my thoughts about it. And would I buy it again? Blah, blah, blah. Kind of like makeup and things like that. Okay, so this one is going to go in the storage shed. I have a cabinet full of candles. And I will probably save that for Valentine's Day next year. I think that would be a great Valentine's Day gift. <gasps> okay. This one, I, I have this pink chandelier, is right behind me. Chaos Witch is actually pink chandelier scent. And it is so pretty. I can't even explain how good this smell is. It's it's just, ooh, it's so nice. Oh my God, I'm going to die if it's the same one. <gasps> Oh, no, it's another Valentine's one. Some people would be like, oh, I got a bunch of Valentine's Day candles. I am so excited because next year it is going to be a candly Valentine's Day. You get a candle and you get a candle and you get a candle and you get this candle. I'll be my own damn Valentine infused with self-love. And Pink Chandelier is one of my favorite scents by them. I can't even explain what it smells like. It smells like pink. It's hard to explain, but it's so yummy and it doesn't it's not too anything it's not too sweet it's not too musky it's not too anything it's just a very pleasant smell it's a nice it's a non-intrusive smell i will say that if, if that makes sense non-intrusive it's like when i have this burning back here it smells so good and it scents my whole office but it doesn't distract me if that makes you know like sometimes you walk in a room and you're like boom you know candle smell this is like, the scent is there, but it's not distracting. I could walk in here wearing 
a perfume and it isn't going to be like my perfume in the candle or like Argh. I like it because it's it's a scent that's there and it's scenting the room really nicely without being crazy last one I wonder if it's another Valentine's Day one. Oh my god I would die <gasps> I don't think this one's going anywhere okay another sticker this is a different lid this is oh my god God, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have to keep this one. I have to keep at least one, right? Vanilla, well, I keep saying I want to keep the friend one. Vanilla Latte. This is from their Empowerment series. They did an Empowerment series. It has a different label. It has a black lid, a different lid. This lid is, it has the little teeth around the edge. See, it's like this, and this one is smooth. So the lids are, the lids are a little bit different. Not exactly the same. So this has the white lip on it. This one doesn't. So this is vanilla latte. And it says light a fire they can't put out. And this has a 45 hour burn time, 100% soy wax candle. Their empowerment series was like a limited series. And... Oh, wow. That is a vanilla latte. This smells like you just walked into a coffee shop. And I don't mean a Starbucks. I mean, there's a coffee shop in town I've been to and I've talked about called Cafe Duet. And there are coffee shops I've been to that are like the little local coffee shops that are not a chain. They're just like the little roasters, the little private coffee shops. And you go in and it just smells so good. That's what this smells like. This reminds me of walking into Cafe Duet. Like, this smells like walking into my favorite coffee shop. Oh, the the coffee, um, the thing about the coffee smell and the vanilla they have in this scent, it doesn't smell fake. It doesn't smell like a candle approximation, as Jeremy would say, my friend Jeremy. He would say some of these candles are an approximation or what they imagine. Like they're trying to make a candle that smells like that or emulate, a you know, a scent. And this isn't, this if someone put this under your nose and you didn't know it was a candle, you'd be like, or you just had it like around as burning people would like, be like, who's drinking a vanilla latte? Oh my God. And it doesn't, I have never, I've had a lot of coffee candles. I have a lot of coffee candles. I have never, ever smelled a coffee candle that smells like this. And I'm a coffee nerd and I'm a coffee snob. This is an incredible smelling candle. Well, do I at all regret that I spent $10 per candle on mystery candles and had no idea what I was going to get? No, I have zero regrets. I love this candle. I love that I have two very, very amazing Valentine's Day candles that I didn't even think to buy these on their website, but here they are. And now I can put these away for Galentine's next year. That's really cool. And you know this year is going to be like boom, boom, boom. It's going to fly by. It's already almost March. So these will get put away. Friend Candle, the Sugar Cranberry. I think she might need to stay around in my life. This is probably going to stay in my guest room, like I said. And it might be a thing where I'll keep it in my guest room and light it when friends come by or come to stay with me because of what it says on it. <laughs> like I'm their only, but I am the best friend. I think these two are going to stay with me. These two will probably go in giveaways. Probably. Unless next year I smell them again and say, screw you guys, I'm keeping my candles. I don't know, we'll see. But it, I am very pleased with this. <laughs> very, very pleased with this. I have zero regrets because I didn't have enough candles. Okay, that was my candle review of the MaliciousWomenCo.com mystery candles. I will put a link to their website below, but I, I can honestly recommend any of their candles. I have so many of their scents, and now with these, I have a bunch more of their scents that I didn't have. I do have a few more on my wish list that I would like to get to, from them, and I also will be doing a candle making video that is going to feature malicious women. It's very interesting. It is very cool. I mentioned it in another video and I can't wait to do it. These do burn really well, by the way. They burn very cleanly. They burn great. You see this one back here is just beautiful. The flame, everything. They burn really cleanly and they don't get weird scents. The one that I'm going to be refilling is all the way, it's 
about down to here. It's almost done. I think I'm going to get maybe two more burns out of it. It's on my nightstand and I burn it in the evenings and I probably will get two more out of it and then I can do the Malicious Women Candle Company kit to refill that candle, which I can't wait to do for you. I do have a whole bunch of empty jars from candles that I finished. As I said, once we're probably going to do it seasonally, like four times a year, we'll do a what have I burned and how did I feel about them and what are my thoughts. I think right around the spring equinox, I will be doing all of my winter candles, reviewing what I burned, and probably a video on how I repurpose my empty candle jars. So if you're into all that, please consider liking and subscribing and throw me a little thumbs up and click the notification bell. Comment below. Tell me uh, what you think of this. Would you would you just put money out and buy mystery candles not knowing what you're going to get? I'm crazy enough to do it, so you don't have to. You're welcome. I hope you have a great night. I will see you in the next video and I'm sure more candles to come. You know me. Candle addicts, raise your hand. I'll see you in the next video. Good night. Goodbye.